everyone, this is Robert coming at you with another video. Well, today's video, I'll be making a bushcraft ladder. Now I have these two big, um, two big saplings, like probably about seven feet, 11 inches long. Then I have all these, this sapling, cut up to probably about 22 inches each. Now I'm gonna take my saw, my folding saw, I'm gonna measure out like a foot up from the end and every foot. Then I'm gonna cut, well, when I put the logs on, I'm gonna cut two, I'm gonna cut into the log two times, just enough so these logs will fit in. Then I'm gonna, like I'm only gonna cut it by like a third of the way. Then I'm gonna use my wood chisel, and I'm gonna knock out for notches. Then I'm also gonna do the same with the foot runs for the ladder. Then I'm gonna tie it up. And hopefully I can get a ladder about seven feet up. So, so I was thinking, I mean, I could always use a ladder around, especially at camp and everything. Like when I set up my teepee again and get up to the top lacing pin and the top tie out to tie the cover on. So. I'm gonna get the camera down a little bit lower and I'm gonna start measuring up. Well, I'm gonna just start measuring up all the uh, the length for the one foot. Then when I get everything cut, I'll bring the camera down so you can see how the notches are gonna come out. Okay, so I have all my notches and my rungs done. Let's put those over there. I did all my notches and the poles, except for this one right here. So I'll do it for you right now. So I just cut them in about a third of the way and I just take my wood chisel um, and I just use another stick to pound it in. And go on the other side, do the same thing. Clean it out a little bit. And I have a notch. So this will pretty much fit right in there. Then I'm going to tie it up. Now it took a while for me to cut out some of these notches because some of them had knots right where I needed them the notches to be so it took a while but I got it done 
the hot pot's done. Now the easy pot, easy pot is to match up the rungs and tie them up. I'm gonna do my rope, then I'll get back with you. Now this rope is rated for 135 pounds. I mean, I'm gonna be tying this up pretty good. Plus, there's the knots in it. I mean, the notches in it. So. I'm not doing any fancy knots of tying or anything because I'm not really going to be like staying too long on the ladder. I mean, I'm not going to be like living on this ladder, so. Just good enough to get up and down a tree quickly or up and down my teepee so I can tie it up and stuff. Now I'm going to finish tying up the ladder or the rungs up the ladder. I have a hundred feet of rope so I shouldn't have to really cut the rope so that's good. So then when I'm don't need a ladder anymore I can just take the rope back or something or take the ladder apart if I need to. But for now this is gonna be good enough. I'm gonna finish tying up the ladder and I'll show you what it looks like. plenty of rope with this hundred foot rope. I mean, for the bottom one, I could have like let it hang out, the tail hang out for like about three, four feet easy. Because right at this run, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six rungs for this. And I ended the rope on the fourth one that went up and I came back down just to use up the rest of the rope. Now, yeah, this ladder is a little bit heavy, but it's mainly because of these uprights. I mean, first time I ever made a bushcraft ladder and I just want to make sure this is going to support my weight. So. I'm gonna put it up against that tree right over there. 
and climb up it. See if it works good. I just noticed the camera was crooked. It's on a little slight incline. Oh well. Well, I have my cloth measuring tape. And my shoulders were about 11 feet up off the ground. So, I wasn't even on the top rung either. I was on the fifth one. I mean, I could go on the top one, but usually ladders. You never go on the top rung because that's how the ladder loses balance and that's how you fall. I mean, even the fifth one up, I was like 10, 11 feet up in the air. So, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's a little heavy. It's going to be a little heavy to lug it around some places, but, eh. For now, it's good enough. I like this little cloth measuring tape. Light. Rolls up real small. I always have it in my cargo pocket. Well. This is it for this video of me making a bushcraft ladder. It's very stable. Even though it's heavy. But... It'll support my weight easily. And I'll be able to get up on trees if I need to get up higher for some reason. Or when I get my teepee set up again, I can use that to tie up the top of the teepee and right, above, right below the um, wind flaps smoke flaps and put the top lacing pins in so that's gonna help out a lot well i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll catch you on my next video this is robert thank you for watching